Hmm. So they have two options, I guess. Uh, either they go Zeus off lane, have the bounty run around the Chen. I think Poxy's gonna run around the Chen in any, any LD case. asleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> LGD eagerly awaiting the next match. I'm trying to read read what's going on here. Anyways, we have game three of EG versus Cloud9. Loser will be fifth slash sixth place. Winner will advance. And on the Radiant side, we have Team Evil Geniuses. Universe taking up the reins on the clockwork. We have PPD on the Shadow Demon. Sumail on the signature Storm Spirit. Fear on the Fiery Lena. And Aoi on the Chen. On the opposite side, we have Cloud9, Big Daddy No-Tail invading the opponent's jungle. On the Bounty Hunter, Fata on the Dragon Knight. Bone7 on the offlane, Zeus. EE -E on the Gyrocopter and Misery the Slayer on the Ventral Spirit. Thank you guys once again for joining me for, for this cast. 30 seconds to battle. Oh, we already saw some all shit spamming going on from both teams. Yeah, what are they talking about? So, like, they're trying to get into each other's mind and disrupt the rhythm. <laughs> no lone druid. <laughs> I didn't ban it. Some uh, little bit yeah. of shit talk. It's always healthy, I guess. <laughs> hmm. It looks like he's just gonna contest this rune. I'm not sure if they're stronger than uh, oh, the uh, C9. Clockworks out of there. Oh, actually, both teams are pretty scared. The battle Ooh. begins. We'll give it's it to Samuel by PPD. He just runs out. <laughs> like when someone does it, and you see Shadow even runs in, you have two reactions, right? Either you go on him, or you're, or you're like, why is he doing that? Why is he so <laughs> confident about his movement? <laughs> And especially in a third game, elimination game, confidence can pay off. Cloud9's Cloud really like this uh, ward. This is a ward to the west side of that large camp. I think this is the second game in a row that they utilize it. Almost certainly not going to get dewarded. Yeah. It's, it's a very good ward, especially if uh, you're playing as a jungle here, because it blocks the camp and gives good vision of his movement. Now all he realizes there's no spawn. He does have sentry wards, though. It seems like he's going to go deward right away. Yeah. Yep, and there we go. First one coming out there. Do you think... The sto you said Storm has a hard time killing uh, DK, but Storm should get like a fair amount of farm, right? Like the lane is 40. very much in favor of Storm. Yeah. And like he's gonna have a free farm lane, similar to like, the other game, but mm -hmm. they don't seem to mind that Sumail gets this kind of advantage in the lane. They, they want, they're thinking more about what's gonna happen later in the game. Well, let's see. We see the big camp spawn, Aoi. Looking to get it to troll. Yeah, he just has to be cautious of this bounty. Uh, the bounty is just gonna be a uh, bit annoying. Especially with this courier, I wonder if they're gonna pay attention. Yeah, it stops. I think Chance is gonna pick up the bottle. And... Yeah, you never wanna risk it. Yeah. If you lose the bottle like that, it can be very disastrous. Yeah. Big Daddy looking for the kill, but now he knows what's up. The game is a foot. Now he's still, I mean, he's still a long time though, but he knows everybody hunters trailing him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Zeus is an easy pick off, holding yeah. the SD. But Dyer's we don't know what really happened down there. Under attack. Yeah, seems to be the disruption in the Light Strike array. I yeah. mean, it, it's not easy for Zeus though, but I mean, he, he is getting some sort of levels. And Storm Spirit dominating the mid lane. Three times the CS of Fata's DK. So, I mean, all in all, mid lane, free farm, bottom lane, first blood. Looks like a similar story to game number two. And this male strength, uh, he's one of the best lane players too. So if you give him that kind of matchup, he's gonna, he's gonna abuse it as much as possible. And both offlaners getting okay amounts. Universe with the help of Kha, oh. I'm sure, able to get some. Well, so I was gonna die again. So, um, I'll talk about what happened after. Alright, so what happened was PPD had an illusion room, right? And so he places one illusion on the hill by Chen. And No Tail walks by and pings out the illusion because he thinks it's through SD. So, with that information, Bull 7 goes up on the lane but just gets disrupted because, you know, it was an illusion. Oh, that's very smart by PPD. Yeah. He's outsmarted his opponent. Wow, it's not looking good for Cloud9. This bottom lane, bottom side is just a disaster for them. The clock is also having a rather easy game. Yeah. And this this clock against Garo is quite easy because uh, you realize when Garo is going to go in, you just cog him away and he can't really deal damage to you. It's quite simple. Yeah, it doesn't have that much mana to work with anymore. Aoi still getting okay creeps up in here. Not able to really get the full effect out of his jungle, but I'm sure he's okay with that. 
the bounty hunter doesn't have many choices in this game. Like he can only try to disrupt the gen, but he can't really gank mid. It's sort of kill potential on the Storm's Red. Yeah. Storm's Red is a six armor hero, so you don't deal that much right click damage. Furthermore, DK doesn't really provide I mean, so kill potential. What what does C9 do right now? Their bottom lane, I mean Bone Seven, I don't even think can return a lane. Lena can probably solo kill him at this point and C9 is just waiting for the level 6s again. Once again, they want to play around the Zeus ulti and they have the DK ulti too. So, the question is how EG will react to the Dragon Form. They'll probably try to kill him as soon as he pops the Dragon Form with the Lina and to ruin the timing because if like, DK's biggest strength is the first ulti and then you can <coughs> put a lot of pressure on the top. But if you actually kill the DK and then his ulti is going to be cooldown, like, the, the, uh, a lot of momentum will just be ruined. It might y actually even lose to the game. Uh, Storm Spirit almost level 6. Misery sitting under a Radiant Observer Award, and that is well noted by yeah. Evil Geniuses. My sister just wants to wait for the DK6, but I think he realized by this point there's quite shoot on. The, the problem is that Clockwork is getting a lot of levels, so he's gonna hit this level 6 soon. When Clock gets 6, DK is in danger. The trade off. Not getting, uh, not giving Chen levels, but Clock gets the levels instead. I'm not sure if it's a healthy trade, because I would prefer my Clockwork to be fast level six, because I know what he can do against the DK in mid lane. They're gonna double jump him with Storm and Clock, and Lina will TP in and just kill the DK. Yeah, though Lina seems like she's geared up for a pretty easy game. Oh. Big Daddy. Walks on the board and will get finished off by a Dragon Slave from Fear. So Fear looking with a really hot start. Three and zero on him with a, I mean, he's well on his way to Yules too. It's looking really good. I bad. think the DK popped Radiant his form right now. Are fortified. Yeah, he did. But he knows that uh, he's a DD and he knows that Lina's out of mana. So he can't join the fight right now. So it's a very good timing for Fader. But EG is uh, ready. Oh, PBD, yes, starting up. Followed up by Dragon Tail, Sumail will jump on Misery, gets Test of Faith and instantly blown up. Bone Seven gets creep blocked, walks into the tower, and Sumail will get another easy kill with 100 mana to spare. Oh no. Yeah, that's good enough for AG. Even though they couldn't kill the DK, they killed two other heroes and defended the tower. Yeah, waste the majority of his DD. He will get an illusion room, but I mean, EG off to a hot start. Six and one for them. The DK form is going to be out soon too, so the mid tower is not in danger for some more time. Bottom tower is under Looks like we're looking to return to the bottom lane. EG only has one person down there. No mana left for Laguna, but I mean, Misery hasn't really been able to do that much. He only got a solo kill on PBD. He was looking for kills on Sumail, and yeah. I mean, their dual roaming has just been to no avail. And Chen's already level 5, so he, I mean, he pretty much has everything he needs. Yeah. Like Bounty still level 2, running around. We saw something similar in the VG game when the fire played Bounty, even though he disrupted the Chen a little bit. It still, it wasn't really that useful. Chen just went off lane and the Bounty stayed level 2. Like the Bounty Hunter didn't have any impact in that game. So I'm a little bit worried about C9's Bounty Hunter. They really need, I think, some kills for him, if they can manage to pick up uh, fear. VG strength cards, they, they had Lashra Core and Alchemist Mid, so they had two heroes who were always like shove their faces into the enemy's tower so they could play aggressive and when C9 decided to play against VG on the lane they just went for all bone seven set up for another disruption observer war here follows up with a stun will hit it no Laguna necessary bone seven another death that's, no. a, that's a eight minute yours for Alina he's gonna have it any second yikes 42 CS and four kills well, Big Daddy walking into Central Ward again, PVD. Looks like he's aware, but yeah. pretending that he isn't. Waiting for Fear to come by. Dust comes Very out for Fear. Trying to get stun. Oh my goodness, that is a nasty... What is that, level... Th well, the Universe, that you talked about in level 6 Clockwork. Will die East. TP's in, Sumail does have enough mana to continue the rolling. Oh my. Oh my indeed. That's uh, level 6 clock very early, goes to the DK kill. And uh, Sumail is so good at Storm Threat if you see his movement with his spells, like how he uses his ultimate to get their overcharge constantly for every hit. He does it very quickly too, so he has the most potential damage. And I see <coughs> Bounty Hunter's level 3 running around, and he's like a no factor in the game. Yeah. I mean, at this point, Bounty Hunter 
uh, it's already gonna be killed by disruption or duels as soon as he gets spotted. Again, I'm still wondering why C9 went for the bounty under. Oh, Yul's coming. I'm just showing Yul's spear. Well, due to 1 2 Laguna. And. I fear they didn't move from bottom lane at all in this game, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But they keep going there, They're just giving him kills. It's a bit of a. Like awkward choice. Seems like a lot of pressure is gone into C9's head, especially at this point. Clock's going in. Well, Fada. And this is the strength of uh, early 6 clock. You will just look at middle and just try to kill the deep. They can always do the double jump with the storm and clock. Feeling desperate. Fear goes in for a stun. No tail right under a sentry ward. I don't think he has enough mana to finish him off though. It looks like they just fucked around. Back to the mid lane, but everyone's already dead under the tower. EE -E walks in alone. 1v4 gets disrupted. Three heroes get hit by a cooldown. He gets pushed back by the cogs. Doing a lot of damage. Everyone's still slow, but EE -E still fighting that uphill battle. 1v3, and Suman with a DD will gonna die. another kill. Very close. I mean, they're forced to rotate everybody in, and they're still not even getting that much. That was actually a good go away, and he just went into four heroes. That was very reckless, but they, they need to do these kind of trades at this point in the game. Yeah, they need to just get level six on some of their heroes. The, the major problem for C9 is that both the supports are suffering way too much. If you look at their net worth, 1k net worth 10 minutes into the game, both of their supports, like even the Shadow Demon, like PPD has better net worth. And he's like complete uh, sacrificial for his team. Well, maybe they will get a kill on PPD, yes. make up some of that XP. Misery going in for a stun, but scared of the defensive disrupt as well as the TP's in, and they cannot chase for that. It's a very rough game for C9 now. They they want to try to find openings, but there really aren't any. And uh, Chen might be kind of close to his mech too at this point. He went for mana boots. This is also a very good choice, especially with uh, his teammates. The universe finds another hookshot. Looks like they smoked over there. Here will get the Yules combo off on Fada, and the deaths just keep coming up for Cloud9. There is nowhere safe for them. No, C9 will lose their mid time, even though they have to DK. Sumail makes a long jump. Going on above the center. We see a call down come out. Sumail. Goes up to the secret shop. Universe tries to TP out and looks like they are out of tools to stop them. They do hold the tower, but it's, it's just tower is under attack. They, they need kills. They need kills. If the EG just plays accordingly, they're not going to be able to get kills. Yeah, all EG has to do is stay together. Radiance I mean, they, they didn't need to do that jump, attack. which Sumail did, but they just feel very confident now. They, they also didn't lose any hero. Even though that was a very risky jump. Look like a dual soft one in. Oh, there's the boulder. Oh. Yeah, a little scared of getting swapped in. Dyer's top tower is under and attack. Sumail pretty much has nothing to fear at this point. No, there's, no one can even catch this on the DK stun. The DK is very weak, he just lost his form too. Things aren't looking good for C9. Yeah, not at all. Oh, oh well. Wow. <laughs> well, it, it happens, guys. Z9 looking for some desperation smokes at this point. Like, uh, yeah, Universe had a good start in the game and he's playing very well. Fear, another combo. So is Fear. Fear is also playing very good. Yeah, they yeah. just play very clean. They don't do any silly mistakes. They keep finding kills. They do the right movement. Clock understands his position in the game, kills the DK. Fear understands his position, keeps killing anyone he finds. And Aoi oh, redeemed himself very quickly. He's level 8. He's a uh, very good net worth. The bounty is struggling to get some levels on the bottom lane. But the Storm doesn't care about him. I'd like to see a, a dust picked up on this Storm. So just, you could just punish the bounty. Yeah, yeah, I think he just doesn't care about him. Like, why would he? It's like a level 4 bounty or something. It's not even worth a kill. It's for you old. Geld. <laughs> yeah, Geld is always good. But <laughs> yeah, EG's next move is just to wait for Orchid. It's gonna be up soon. They, they already just like hardcore split push. Every lane is pushing. They force TP spawn him. Sinan has to run mid lane. 
Fear's still pushing top. He's ready to TP though. Two tornadoes zones out the whole team of C9. C9 and the Russian tornadoes. They have one big story together. <laughs> it's amazing in this room. So uh, he's just gonna try to get his orchids now. So why did you take my last hit, man? And there's the D9 tower mid tower. This is orchids, denied. I think. Um, yeah, it should be. Oh, smoke coming out from Cloud9, two of them wrapping around the rune, but Honestly, they still don't really have a good way to catch him. Uh, EG is also looking to kill him. There's the Indus rune. It's gonna, it might pop the smoke. I think they saw it from the bounty. I'm not sure. Wench doesn't dare to stay. EG is already connecting with the heroes. They have three heroes sitting in mid. Oh, they're all converging around Sumail. Looks like Cloud9 lo walking into a death trap it's gonna here. gonna go for it, yeah. Old Boulder comes out. Looks like Crossbow Hookshot is on to Big Daddy No Tail. He comes in looking to kill Sumail, but a defensive disruption comes down as well as the hand of God. Sumail zips out, and now Cloud 9 turning, trying to find safety under T1 Tower EE. Logan goes up, and Sumail will get one other jump. Finishes him off with a Dragon Slave, and another clean fight for EG. No deaths given up. Okay, well, that was a very amazing disruption by TPD. Like the storm would have just died and said the whole fight got turned by the one disruption. I mean, they only have like really one nice stun to deal with them. He can just play around the Venge universe. We'll find the dust and no tail, but with no hook shot up, they will just settle for the tower at the end of the day. To score 22 to 5. It's a very rough game. The call down was uh, like very nice, very nice positioning, and DK didn't initially die, he tanked it up. If it wouldn't be for that one disruption, they would have gotten the kill on Storm and probably not lose two more heroes. I mean, everyone's just so farmed. Yeah, um, played man and mech up and down, which is really at the same time. Storm's just gonna jump this uh, Garcraft Thursday as he shocks himself, which will probably lead to a dead enemy. Yeah, he's just waiting for the yeah, There we go. Oh, jump comes out, TP come in in case anyone's defending EE, and they will not be able to save his life. Yeah. I mean, this game is quite depressing to play if you're C9 at this point, because, uh, like, right from the beginning, nothing went your way. Like, uh, these games are the most sad to play, because, I mean, you look at No-Tail, he's 0-6. You look at Bone 7, he's probably something similar. Attack. And uh, they've just not been able to play their own game, because, I mean, you can call it, like, a strategic... Uh, like failure or whatever, but they just weren't able to play their own game. Just yeah, there is no more structure for them. Like when your hero has no purpose in the game, then it doesn't feel like you're playing Dota anymore. And none of theirs, like all their purposes got break, like broken apart. But DK has no purpose. His purpose was to push mid tower, and he can't do that. Yeah. He couldn't. He couldn't do that. All his purpose got eliminated. Venge was useless from the very first minute, and Zeus just kept dying anyway. So only gyrocopters left. And I mean, he's not going to do anything to well, EG's uh, movement is very clear for them. They know what they need to do to just win the game. Just walk together, get some towers, get some movies, find some kills. They have Meg, they're going to have Aghanim soon on Lina too. Not the biggest deal, because the Aghanim's only really shines on the level of the Alpha. Misery gets scouted out, a Laguna to the face. Finish off no tail. EE tries to go in again. One, two, three. It looks like they won't finally be able to pick up PVD. No track though. Fear, the bigger prize in the back line. Fada trying to one you on him. And with the help of the Chen Prince, both heroes will fall. Universe tries to kill EE with his own rocket barrage. But at the end of the day, two kills us. Better than. This was a 4v5 play. If somewhere have been there. Yeah. Well, they'll take what they can get at this point. Uh, does Junior still have Hookshot? No, 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 I don't know. He's just chilling around. Somebody is pushing bottom. I would have liked to see Samal TP to fight. I'm not sure if his TP was on cooldown or anything like that, but... He would have killed everyone. Yeah. He would have killed everyone. Yeah, it's just, uh, like, overconfidence from EG, I guess. Yeah. Well, they get something. Yep. Gyro working on his BKB. Zeus finally picked up some, uh... Some kills, some experience. Yeah, it's like every time uh, I see a team fight, I see Gyro get called on on 
at least three heroes. Yeah, it's a very good cooldown so far. Like Shadowman has to run in for the disruption, so it's always he's always gonna be in the cooldown. Plus the hero that they focus on. Right. And then there's like sometimes some Chen sitting around or clockwork. Fear now with the upgraded Laguna Blade. 675, that is that pretty enough? much what yeah, oh, so gonna watch that the moment. That is depressing. Yeah, it is. Time to pick up some racers. How many people this go? Like if he gets uh what's it called? Soul catcher. Oh yeah, soul catcher. Oh, they call it a bounty. Oh, big daddy. Feeds yet another kill. G gets off a couple tracks before he dies at least. Sumail doing his thing, not worried about a thing in the world. No. It's coasting along. Jumps to Zeus, Orchid's DK. Then on the other some stunts on the map. And it seems like the only Dyer's way they can win is a very similar attack. story in the game number two, uh, except on a much greater magnitude. So Orchid takes on cooldown? I yeah. guess it was. Yeah. <laughs> There's the smoke. Nice Yule's coming out from Fear. Misery looking Dyer's for a swap possibly, but Fear a little bit too fast with the phase and the Yule's. Storm will zip in. Oh, sorry, Clockwork will hook shot and then just TP out. Dyer's top tower Not sure what that one's fun. about. It's another DK from Popped. To no avail. They're not going to be able to get anything out of it. No. And this game is so hard to play for C9. Dyer's bottom tower. EG playing a lot better, it seems. Not being overly brash, maybe with a T1 on top. EG is top definitely tower playing is better, under there's no doubt about that. I'm, uh, I see him. Nice reaction from PPD. Demonic Purge comes out, a long range zip from from some male. Combined with a soul catcher. That's like a, that test of fate took him down like 25%. Yeah. And they're gonna send Storm back. He's gonna pick up his Bloodstone, hope we're back in. And at this point, I mean, every fight is just gonna be a 45 to start off with. Bones out, he gets hooked up by Universe. Nice swap coming out from Misery. We'll take one. He has on point also with his stunts on Lina. I don't think he missed any stun. He will set with him. Seven at the end of the day will die, and I mean, EG is just wiping the floor with C9. Yeah, um, if I was C9, I would be very dissatisfied with this loss because I mean, to be honest, uh, I guess we're looking at it out of C9's perspective. Like, if you look at it through EG's perspective, he's completely outplayed and outdrafted the enemy team. Uh, but I guess this, uh, as a specter, is quite sad to see C9 crumbling like this. Because we all know they can play better Dota. It's yeah. just that things went Dyer's very wrong. Uh, I think they should have learned from the VG game that this bounty is not the best deal against Chen. It doesn't really work against Chen. It didn't work in this game. Oh, they're trying to combo people out. EE -E gets jumped by Sumail. Nice ball coming out. And on the bottom side, no sale will die. Sumail gets stunned out. They don't have disruption on. They might actually get a kill on him. He will die. Fada. Trying to take it, the front lines will eat an LSA to the face. And only Sumail will die. And it is EG. Moments away from advancing to the next stage of the summit. It's fair to say that EG is simply outsmart C9 in this, in this series. Yes. I mean, PPD is really good at doing that though. Especially for a team like Five Nine, who he's played on multiple times in multiple ways. That's true. First set of Rex, no resistance Dyer's left out for Cloud9. They are beaten, they are worn, they are downtrodden, their face is on fire. This is a game where we're in C9's position, you would tap out. Yep. If you look at the net worth though. It's an elimination game. It's an elimination game and can't but come it, off it, this game is just over. Yeah, it's beyond it's over. <laughs> well. Well. So, how's it going, guys? What are you guys planning now? Plan on doing for the rest of the day? Uh, I gotta pay respects to the team. So we saw, we see Sumail, his ultimate orb. Probably going for, I think he might go for Lincoln's just to feel more powerful. Yeah, probably. I mean, they have Chen Yu and Mag, they have Disrupt, defensive Disrupt. I'd like to Chen see a, uh, a Lotus orb coming out from EG. 
That'd be cool. That would be cool. Track gold for everyone. Right, there we go. Segway quick kill. Love that tanky DK. Oh, he will get a stun off of that. He has a DKE, actually. Oh, nice hook shot coming out from Universe. Do they even have detection? I don't think so. I mean, they're tracked, but they just go for a Russian anyway. They're not afraid yeah, of Yeah, they don't care. Well, coming in on a 30 kill deficit. This is the second game where EG picked a lineup which is not that effective to Russian. And now it's really ancient. But it seems to work out for them, this kind of place there. Very spell heavy lineups. One with Flash Rack, now they had Delina on the core. I think most of it boils down to uh, how the GP used their safe lane in all three games. Yeah, I agree. The, this is where the biggest odds mine came out. In the very first game, the was prepared to deal with the safe lane. Yeah. In the second game, C9 understood and did something else. But in the third game, for some reason, they decided to put Zeus up. Zeus is not good. Uh, he's just not good. He's, there's no, nothing he can do, actually. He's just gonna die to Shadow Demon Lina. It could have been something else. And like, I just, uh, I Do you want to see much. like some better dual lanes, or I mean, as you said, like the the Dark Seer and the Nature's Prophet were pretty much the only all lanes that can hold up in the lane by itself. But when those are banned out, do you go for a dual lane? Do you aggro try? Do I you mean, just sack it and pick a jungler? I think uh, they probably could have picked something like a Nyx Assassin or something. I think Nyx Assassin could probably survive the. That's true. Even the duo. Nyx Assassin would have been very nice. Nyx would have been nice against Storm as well. Let's see, Lina. Oh, when Tokshan comes out, but Sumail not scared, will go in, gets stunned up. Sumail will clean up the misery. BKB pops all around, but Fada will take an Axe Laguna. And that is it for Cloud9 in this game, in this series, and in this tournament. They are out. Uh, in the second game, Sumail had the right idea of applying pressure to them. Like in this game, they put Bounty directly to stop Owen, but in the second game, they just dual lane and ward the forest. That's one very effective way to apply pressure to your opponent. This uh, Bounty Hunter running up the Chen, it's not really pressure. This Chen is like, whatever, guys. Like, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Yeah, Bounty Hunter can't ever kill the Chen. Yeah, and Chen is like gonna scale good into the game anyway.